Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to another video of the course M251 uh, which talks about Java programming. In general, uh, this video is on uh, finding the output for any given code. So here we will see inshallah <coughs> uh, given Java code and uh, the question here is what is the output after executing this Java code. Uh, basically whenever we want to look for an output uh, we'll see first uh, what is the classes and uh, we'll look for a class where we have the main method and uh, we start uh, tracing the code from the main method because uh, as we all know that the Java program starts execution from the main method so first we'll look into the main method uh, before we go to the main method let's have a look into the classes what we have we have a class B here with a variable A and the method show and display uh, this end of the class B we have a class D which extends B here of course it is inheritance uh, we have a variable again A variable here we have method overriding show and display uh, we have a class E which extends D again with inheritance which has show which call the super met class show so the super class here is D so it will call the show method of the D and it will also uh, print this message here and then we have the test class here which has a method called do print which is a not which it takes an object of class B and will call for the show method and here comes the main method now this is where uh, our program execution starts and uh, we are looking for this uh, code to see what is the output. Uh, we start from the first line it says it creates an object of uh, class B X. Uh, the second line it creates an object of uh, Y but referring to the uh, object D. Uh, the third one it creates an object called Z of class D and the fourth line it's uh, about uh, creating an object called W with uh, of the class E and this is all the creating objects right. now here comes the do print of X X is an object of P it will call this method do print which is over here by passing X to this and X is an object of P so we call this X dot show so when we and call this show from the class B because it is an object of B so it will go to the class B here and call this show and prints B show so the output first line is B show fine this is the end of the method we'll go to the next line it is do print of Y Y is an object of B uh, referring to the D so it will go the class D and it will print show D show it's fine so this will print in the next line D show it is next line because it is system dot out dot print ln here not print so if it is print it will be in the same line B show then D show now but since it is in next line so we'll go for the next line then we have object Z do print of Z of course Z is an object of D so this will call the D sh class show which is D show again so the next will be D show fine the next line here is uh, do print of W W is an object of E so it will be casted E dot show E dot show here is super dot show super class is uh, D so it will go to the D call the show of the D which is D show so the output here the next is D show and then after this calling the super uh, it will call it will print E show so this will print E show fine okay so this end of the do print now we call Y display Y is an object of B so it will call B display so it will call B display so it will print B display okay now the next is 
x dot a x is an object of class b so b dot a is 50 to so print 50 similarly the next code here is y dot a y is again an object declared with b so 50 again then z dot a z is an object of d so d has uh, 20 for the variable a has 20 then uh, it says w dot a w is an object of e e has uh, no variable a so it will look for its super class it has a protect or default variable 20 so it will print 20 and okay this is the end of this main method since the end of the main method we reach to the end of the main method we stop here and we say that this is the output of this uh, given code so in general basically what we look is that we first go through all the classes what does they have and then we look for the main method because the execution is start from the main method so what is happening in the main method which methods are invoked which class objects are created and which methods are invoked and where do we have the print methods sorry the print statements because what we get in the output is through the print statements so we look for those print statements when they are executed and what they are printing that will be shown in the output i hope this video will uh, help you in preparing for your exams also to get uh, knowledge about how the java code is executed and uh, how we get those outputs from the given code thank you for watching